And now to the crane collapse that shut down lanes of I-95 in Fort Lauderdale for hours on Monday. We've learned one of the victims has since died. He was one of two workers about 30 feet in the air when their bucket truck fell onto the highway below. And it happened in the southbound lanes near Sunrise Boulevard. Local 10's Ray Ramos live now in Fort Lauderdale with an update for us. Roy. Calvin and Nicole, as you mentioned, two men were in that lift. One of them suffered more critical injuries than the other. And unfortunately, we have just learned that he has lost his life. He was 47 years old. He was a husband and a father to two little girls. A day after the southbound lanes of I-95 were shut down between Sunrise and Broward Boulevard following this construction accident Monday, and we are now learning one of the two workers injured has lost his life. One of the concrete poles that they were working on fell and not one of the cranes out. That concrete piling knocking over this boom lift, the two workers in it crashing down more than 30 feet into the lanes of traffic. One of the men taken to the hospital with a broken leg. The other victim rushed away in an ambulance that ended up crashing into a police cruiser that was hit by another car and thrown into its path. The truck was still able to continue transporting the severely injured uh, individual to Broward Health. And then at that time, the paramedics were also seen. Fort Lauderdale Fire tells us the man in the back of that ambulance in critical condition is who lost his life today. He's been identified by his family as 47-year-old Joseph Bienami. His family's attorney telling me he was a loving husband and a father to 10 and 12-year-old daughters. Have since reopened, it is investigators now trying to determine what caused that crane to lose its load and take the life of a man simply trying to do his job. And that family asked for their privacy during this very difficult time. When I spoke with their attorney, he tells me that no legal action has been taken. But we have reached out to OSHA to find out where they are in their investigation into all of this. We are still waiting to hear back. As for the other victim, we're told he has since been released from the hospital. For now, here in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.